There are a number of different reasons why you may want to make mass updates to deal person, organization, activity data in Pipedrive. And the best way to do this is if you're not doing it via an import is to go to the list view. So I have a list view pulled up here um, on deals and I have a filter set over here. Um, and I'm gonna add a couple of uh, additional fields here. So I have uh, two fields I'm gonna add. So I have uh, this source old field, and that's a text field I wanna get rid of. Um, I wanna change all of this data into a single option field, which is far better for my reporting, but I don't wanna lose the data, so I can't just delete the field. I need to first transfer the information over. Um, so I'm gonna make some edits to these deals um, in mass. So I'm gonna sort by this column header. And it's not perfect, but you can see it gets a lot of similar items next to each other. And you can see why I have this issue. Sometimes I put web form, sometimes I put website, but I'm actually consolidating that. So I'm gonna select uh, those sources here. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, I like to just control find, especially when you have a lot of fields here. Um, and I wanna update the source and I'm going to edit the current value to website and I'm gonna edit those six deals. So those are gonna populate, awesome. I've now converted this data over. Um, then you can see, here's a great example. I've got Calendly, I've got a typo in here. Um, I've got a Calendly form, I've got Calendly without a typo. Um, so I'm going to select those. If you do create a list uh, that is, you wanna update everything, you can just select this header uh, here, um, and then you can update all of your deals that way. Um, so depending on the amount of data you are updating, you might even wanna create a, a more refined filter so that you can use that function. Uh, but here I'm gonna go ahead and just select everything that is uh, Calendly related. And then I'm going to control find for that source field, edit the value to Calendly, I've updated those. Now you can see these ones, these contact us, contact form, that's also gonna be web website ones. Uh, so I would select those and update that to website. And then these self bookings, that's also Calendly. So I'm gonna select those and go to Calendly. And then here you see I've got some names in here. Um, that's great, those are referrals, but uh, I wanna actually capture that uh, as referral, not as the individual's name, because um, that's a, gonna be you know one and few and far between. Um, so I wanna go kind of categorically up from there. So I'm gonna select to go to the source. I'm gonna edit to referral. And now that I have all of these fields updated in the source, I could go ahead and delete my source old field because I have that data captured. And then if I wanted to create reports and whatnot um, using this field, I would be able to do so now that it is a single option field rather than a text write-in.